It's that time of year again. Leaves are falling, turning your fireplaces on, and you're looking for something a little bit more warm and cozy. And that's what we're gonna do today. We are going to do a fish stew. Let's do a quick rundown on our ingredients. We've got olive oil, a bottle of dry white wine, chicken broth, seafood stock, garlic, tomatoes, one red onion, cilantro, red potatoes, salt, pepper, some water for our base, some chives, of course, our fish. We also have some lemon juice, and then I also got some bread because, I mean, what is stew if you don't have some really good bread, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm sure you guys saw this sitting here. We're using the Instant Pot today, and this recipe really doesn't take very long, and that's the nice thing. Usually stews take a bit. This thing's pretty quick. So what we'll do is we're gonna put it on the saute setting, let that thing start to heat up, and while that's happening, you can prep your onions and your garlic and get those ready. And we are going to add four tablespoons of olive oil. All right, we'll throw our onions in here. Mm-hmm. You can hear that thing working. Just give those a quick mix, and then we're gonna let those saute there for a few minutes. All right, we've got our white wine. We need about a half a cup of this. We're gonna do one cup of the seafood stock, and we're gonna do one and a half cups of the chicken broth. Okay, now we're gonna get our water ready. We're just gonna do a cup of water here. Throw some garlic in there. All right, we're gonna let that saute. We wanna give that about a minute. Okay, our onions and our garlic are ready. We're gonna add our wine now, and we're gonna let that simmer a little bit. We are just going to let that deglaze there for a little bit. It calls for eight to 10 ounces of potatoes. So three to four small reds, that'll be plenty. All right, potatoes are ready. Okay, we are going to use two medium-sized tomatoes here. Let's go ahead and add our stock. All right, and we're gonna add our water. We're gonna add our potatoes. And we're gonna add our tomatoes. Before we stick this lid on, we're going to salt and pepper. All right, that looks to be pretty good. Okay, that's good and stirred. All right, add our lid. Make sure that our vent is sealed off. We're gonna switch from saute to pressure cook, so cancel, pressure cook, and we're gonna take that time down to five minutes, and it is set on high pressure. Now this recipe did call for dill. I chose to omit that and go with some cilantro. And then we're also going to cut up some chives. I'm not gonna get too crazy with this, just enough here. The other thing that we're going to need is our fish. So we aren't going to cut this uh, too small. We just want our fish in uh, maybe one inch by two inch chunks. All right, our Instant Pot is telling us that it's time to hit the switch. So we're gonna release the steam and let the lock drop, and then we're gonna start putting it all together. All right, let's take the lid off this see what we're working with. So, what we're going to do, hit your cancel button, put it back on your saute setting. All right, it's time to add our fish. We've got our uh, Instant Pot, it's now simmering. Add our fish here. Put that in. Give that a little stir. You kind of want to get it to the point to where it's cooked really nicely, but it's not falling apart. So keep an eye on that, about five to seven minutes. Okay, we're gonna turn our saute function off. Cancel, we're gonna add our cilantro and our chives. We got two tablespoons of lemon juice that we're gonna add here. One and two. 
Let's serve us up some stew. Grab us a bowl. All right, let's give this thing a whirl. Mm. Yep, that'll warm you up on a cool day. It's great. Just get you a little bit of bread, sop up some of them juices, That's a great way right there to do some fish. Hope you enjoy.